Hey guys, what's up? Chris Goldsmith here. I'm an Army vet and run a small company called Sparbarius. Our mission is to detect and disrupt disinformation and extremism. And today I'm here to talk to you about Godwin's Law. This is something you might have heard of. It's, it's the internet rule. Uh, it's, it's a bit of a meme that basically says that the first person to make a Hitler analogy loses the argument, right? Well, Mike Godwin, the guy who came up with this, this phrase, term, this, this law, he's been saying since 2017 that the comparisons of the far right in America, stuff like the Unite the Right rally where neo-Nazis are taking to the streets with violence, you know, waving around torches just like the Nazis did. He says Godwin's law does not apply when reality matches uh, what's being described. So Godwin is, has been out uh, tweeting this week about how, you know, he's, he's basically saying that the Republican Party has, um, has adopted fascism as, as a way of life, you know, and you've got folks like Senator Lindsey Graham going out saying how, oh, if, if Donald Trump is ever held to account for the, any of the crimes that he's ever committed, there's going to be riots in the streets, basically threatening uh, America, saying that if, if Trump is held legally accountable for committing crimes, that we should all expect death and destruction, right? So when Joe Biden comes out and describes what is happening to the MAGA party, how they are becoming semi-fascist, Fox News had a really interesting idea that they would bring Charlie Kirk and Stephen Miller to cry about being called fascists. We have to remain peaceful on our side, but I do think that if they're gonna escalate the language, then game on, like, okay, uh -huh. if you're gonna call us a bunch of fascists, we're not gonna take that anymore. You're the fascist, Joe Biden, and there's other words we could use as well. Of course, this is an administration that has launched a political raid of his chief political opponent's home to seize and steal his property and his documents. So what you are seeing is a classic technique of tyrants and authoritarians, where they use the methods of dictatorship while accusing their opponents of being fascist. This administration is authoritarian and repressive. Now, Stephen Miller's the guy who you know, who's the neo-Nazi best friend of Donald Trump, who basically tried to uh, make xenophobia and racism American policy under Trump's terms, like uh, under Trump's term. He's the guy who came up with things like um, like separating children from families as a means of torturing refugees, right? He's the kind of guy who's been coming out and saying American vets are stupid for wanting to bring Afghan interpreters stateside because he believes that everyone with brown skin is a terrorist, right? Stephen Miller's a Nazi. So Fox News thought, let's bring Stephen Miller on to talk about how he's not a fascist. And then there's Charlie Kirk. Charlie Kirk is a guy that you should be familiar with. He runs one of the largest, uh, most impactful and um, frankly dangerous right-wing PACs and nonprofits uh, that exists today. It's, its sole purpose is to radicalize white young men into believing in what's called the great replacement theory, right? The stuff that motivated the Buffalo shooter, the stuff that has motivated a lot of recent MAGA terrorists, the belief that uh, Democrats and other and, and global elite, right? Uh, are trying to replace white people uh, with a more uh, compliant American, right? Charlie Kirk used to, to his credit, used to re reject the Great Replacement Theory explicitly. Like he used to say, the alt-right is not welcome in the Republican Party. Well, things have changed. Now, if you go to his website, the first thing that pops up is, is a banner uh, to advertise an upcoming event, which is solely focused on promoting the great replacement conspiracy theory. If you look at Turning Points USA's uh, events over the last few years, they've featured folks like Tucker Carlson, 
who's promoted the great replacement theory. Again, the conspiracy theory that is, keeps motivating mass shooters, white supremacists, neo-Nazis. So Fox News is kind of letting the, the mask slip or taking the hood off by putting straight up promoters of neo-Nazi ideology to whine and cry, oh, they call me semi-fascist. My only problem with Joe Biden calling uh, the MAGA party semi-fascist is that he put the word semi in there. Now, again, fascism has meaning. Fascism uh, is a political philosophy, a movement, or a regime that exalts nation and often race above the individual and stands for a centralized autocratic government headed by a dictatorial leader, severe economic and social regimentation, and forcible suppression of opposition. So let's, let's talk about each one of those things. So it's political philosophy that exalts nation. America first is all over their website and often race. Great replacement theory all over their website. That's, that's like Tucker Carlson, Fox News, and Charlie Kirk's and Stephen Miller's like guiding ideology for their, for their political philosophy. Centralized autocratic government. What's an autocrat? Donald Trump. Somebody who doesn't have to live by the rules. Someone who, as Lindsey Graham said, if you come at him with legal accountability, there's going to be violence, there's going to be riots in the streets. Uh, headed by a dictatorial leader, right? We talked about that. Severe economic and social regimentation, forced births. That is the Republican Party today. And forcible suppression of, a, uh, of a opposition. Again, going back to Lindsey Graham. Lindsey Graham, who used to be a never Trump guy before he fell in love with him and then got mad at him on Jan 6 and then said, oh, actually, wait, I like his money. I like the power that he brings to our party. Now they're buddies again. Lindsey Graham says, if you come at Trump with legal accountability, my people, the MAGA people, are going to riot in the street and kill people. Guys, they're fascists. They know they're fascists. That's why they're crying so loud. When you see a fascist, name the fascist. Don't be, don't fall into their games. They're not conservative. There's nothing conservative about the great replacement theory uh, or any of these white supremacist ideologies, right? This is neo-Nazism. It's straight up white supremacy. It's un-American as fuck. They say America first. What they really mean is they support genocide. Full stop. That's Stephen Miller. That's Charlie Kirk. And that's Fox News. Midas Touch is unapologetically pro-democracy. And look, we know you are too. So please make sure you check out our best-selling shirt and our best-selling gear, the unapologetically pro-democracy gear. And hey, while you're at it, make sure you check out my favorite shirt and one of our most famous designs. It wasn't rigged. You're just a loser. At store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.